Hey guys, this is Brooks with Mayday Parade, and you're watching Ernie Ball, The Sound of Warp. A friend of the family had given us this PV Horizon 2 guitar. It was pretty quick after that that honestly it started started working with other kids and stuff and, and, and playing in bands. The first one was actually with Derek. I guess that's when I knew I wanted to at least play guitar. I don't, I'm not sure if I knew professionally yet. I like to find uh, really interesting voicings that you might not normally hear. Something like a dominant fifth on the top of a chord or you know, adding in like twos or, or even fours in places that, that it makes sense within a progression. And younger, I knew that I liked Ernie Ball strings. One of the coolest things I thought about them, especially when I was younger, was how quick you could get them stretched out and ready to go. And I started out using really light strings, and one day I decided I was going to try and use the thickest I could get that made sense for my guitars. So I started using the Not Even Slinkies, and that's because uh, studio and live, they have great uses because they're so thick that they don't waver in pitch. So live, obviously, you know, you get a little bit more aggressive with things. And in the studio, it's the same sort of thing, but maybe even more key in the studio, that thicker string gives you a, a fatter tone. important component, I think, to my sound is probably my orange amp. My guitars, of course, are a large part of that, too. I had Ernie Ball reflex guitar, and I've got a Fender Telecaster that I bounce between. I try and set them up, though, so that they're similar, and I can switch out the guitars during a set and not have too crazy of a difference, even though one's a single coil and one's a humbucker pickup. This Ernie Ball Music Man uh, reflex guitar has been great road guitar. Uh, it's taken a lot of damage, and this is actually a 25th anniversary, which I like a lot. I'm pretty simple with my pedal board for the most part. I'm, I'm sharing with Jeremy because we have so few pedals. I have a Boss, you know, chromatic tuner. I've got an AB switch, so if I switch from the Tele to my Ernie Ball, two MXR carbon copies, which I treat more like a, a reverb than I do a delay because it's got a real nice roll to it. And then I used to run a Marshall cab, but we did a tour with All Time Low. Jack had this Mesa standard cab at the time, so I used his cabinet instead of mine and instead of doubling up on stage that night. And ever since then, I realized that that Mesa standard cab had a lot better projection on it. It made it sound a lot better, and so I've switched to Mesa ever since then. Warp Tour five times now, so we know what to expect. Everything that I have here, you know, my guitars, the Ernie Ball, the Fender, the Orange 8030, they've all been through several Warp Tours, so again, you know, I know that they're gonna stand up to the test. As long as I have an Orange, you know, and a guitar I'm familiar with, then it's good to go. This is Chad from the band New Found Glory, and you're watching Ernie Ball, The Sound of Warped.